Here I'm going to start by drawing a light outline of my model. I'm also drawing here the circles of the strawberry seeds uh, to just indicate where I'm going to put my shadows and highlights when we come to it. Then I'm going to put a base layer and mix that base layer. So here I've got a little bit of red, yellow, a tiny bit of purple uh, to get that colour just right on there. And I'm just laying down that colour in a uniform bit. I'm just doing the same with the stalk, just a light green uniformly and then adding uh, the light areas and the darker areas. So here I'm going with my lighter paint. I've got white mixed with a tiny little bit of red, so it's not just pure white, but it's uh, it's it's almost uh, like pink even, so it looks white as I'm applying it on here. And I'm just putting all the highlights of my strawberry on. So when you mix paints, you need to remember just add a tiny bit of the dark colour to the light colour. Uh, don't work the other ways because if you add a tiny bit of, uh, if you start adding light to the dark, you're going to go through loads and loads of paint because it takes only a little bit of dark colour uh, to adjust the colour when you put it in the light. But if you start putting light to dark, you're going to need loads and loads of white on there. So for economy purpose and just to save you time as well, uh, just go from lighter and add a tiny bit of dark on there. So here I'm just carrying on putting my highlights, trying to be as accurate as possible. And all the way through, I am looking at my model picture of the strawberry on there. Um, once I've put the highlights on, I'm going to go back and start adding the lower areas of tone as well um, and work from there. So here I'm putting a bit of orange on the areas that are lighter but not quite uh, white on there. So I'm just keeping observing my model picture as carefully as possible and adding as much detail on there. So now I'm just putting dark areas around the seeds, so I'm mixing my red with a tiny little bit of blue on there and going through those seeded bits so I get my uh, strawberry really popping out and looking very much 3D on that. Okay, so here I think I kind of more or less finish. Uh, I'm just adding a tiny bit of detail on areas I think a tiny bit lighter maybe uh, and just putting the final touches. So it's a matter of keeping looking at your model then looking at your work and working from there. For the background I'm going to put the complementary colour. So here the complementary to red is green. Uh, so I'm putting green on, uh, so blue and yellow. I'm putting quite a light green because I want the stalk uh, of the strawberry, the leaves at the top to still stand out. So I'm putting a little bit more white towards the top uh, so the top of my strawberry still stands out on there. So here I've more or less finished with the painting. What you can do now is add a tiny little bit of detail with coloured pencils. So I'm just making my whites a little bit stronger, my shadows a little bit stronger and adding that tiny bit of detail in there uh, to just really make my strawberry pop. Just also refining the edge as well, uh, giving a little bit more contrast in places where I need to.